Hello, I'm John Proxy, and this is my Realm Reborn Redemption. And Jack here has a quest for me. So I'm going to stand on this table and receive that quest. Apparently, I'm not going to do that at all. That's a lie. Oh, there we go. So, um, Kiss of the Viper, level 30. I was wondering when you'd show up, Neme. But bugger me if you don't look ready to mill an entire crew of sods by yourself. And Benny, you are, because we finally uncovered some of the hard facts about the last treasure. Won't be long now before we claw the winning pieces and put this daft challenge to bed. Alright, I've gathered the other coves for a meeting, so let's get down to it. Let's get down to it indeed. At long bloody last, the black sar sarcophagus has given up its secrets. Underfoot, you've got some news for us. Hi, Jack. I think half our troubles are whittling in the truth of the lay and calling this nasty thing a treasure. The black sarcophagus ain't no dimmer bauble. It's a Mark Lim... Uh, Mark L.I. It's a Mark L.I. Magitech mine. A bleeding prototype explosive that was bitten from the Imperial transport vessel. And even though it ain't that big, maybe the size of a small cargo box, they say the blast will have enough kick to incinerate a bloody behemoth. Seems the Garlean meant to start production at their factory in Lanosia, and then distribute the mines through Castrum Marinium, like some plucky privateer cloyed the prototype on road then, eh? An experimental weapon! That explains why the, the Thalacracy was so bleeding eager to, to bid at that auction, and so reluctant to share the details with us. At least now we know the what, but there's still the question of where. The girls delivered their bitten goods to the reformists, that much is certain. What happened to the sarcophagus after that though, we ain't so sure. There's been no reports of huge explosions or the like, so either the ex executioners still have the mine, or they've pilled it to some, to some other buyer. The reformist faction came together after a shared inf hatred for the admiral and her ways. I'm guessing they didn't clothe the bomb just to sell it. What is it, Lonnie? Please, baby girl. A letter for you, Jack. Says it's urgent. I'm glad these are all different sized people, so they can have four different voices with the same accent. A letter! Who's it from? The old man. I found it while I was sorting through our daily deliveries. Let me see now. Come to Thalalos. I have urgent news. I've never known the old man to summon a customer. Not once seen, seen him at his usual haunts for a while. So do you reckon some rum moss he's dug up just for us? What? Aye, it could be. Neme, you and me are headed to Thalos. On the foot of a cab. You have to take another stab at pinning down the location of the sarcophagus. Right, let's get off this table and uh, find the Black Marketeer. Where are you going to be, Black Marketeer? Ah, uh, Thalos. Let's go to Memrune's trading post then and see if I can do that. And uh, I made sure I've got some controls for the Chocobo. As I just got that one. Just got one. I'm pretty happy to have that chocolate bow as well. But uh, there's my controls. Free stance, defender stance, withdraw and follow. That'll do it for now. Hoping this ferry will take me to the right place. Ale port and Costa del Sol. Hmm. What's it called? Ferry docks. Just ferry docks. I'll try L port. See how close it is. It's very cheap at the very least. Uh, 
Ah. Oh, it's almost two o'clock. Of course, this job. Now a video takes an hour. It takes a bit longer than an hour actually, because I've edited a little bit out. But yes, it's going to take its time. So after this, I'm going to the shops. I'm going to ride my bike and do a little bit of exercise. Ah, uh, well, half an hour's worth of exercise, whatever. But I still have plenty of videos to record. It's the weekend. I have no plans. May as well do lots of recording. There's my chocobo. Still hasn't been desummoned. I know it's not the right things, but maybe if I talk to this person. Ah, oh, bollocks. How far away am I to? What's that symbol? Sahagin Stronghold. Oh, there's airport docks. That's nowhere near where I want to be. Where the bloody hell do I want to be? Alright. Maybe I have to have that place first. So outer or western? Western seems easier. Right, I'm... Hang on. What's it? Awesome. I actually did go to the right place. Can I? But if I get off, have I desummoned him? We'll see, but it's silly not to ride the chocobo. And uh, I've got 99 cabbage. So I can summon them all. Let's be on our way. Now what I should be doing in between all the videos, and I haven't, I've just been very lazy about it, is doing the dailies and for my crafting, but uh, I've been very busy. God, none of my clothes match. But yes, I've been here before, but never with a purpose. So, um, are we I'm trying to find the sarcophagus and win this bet? And maybe, maybe there's a few more hidden surprises in this quest. Maybe some ninja -y surprises, if you catch my meaning. We might become a ninja, that's my meaning. Did you catch it? That I might become the ninja, the class ninja. If you get my meaning. And you can also get the hottest of lunch boxes. That's not. See, I have been here. I must have gone. I've done quests in Mean Room. That's a. Uh, that's the dude, the trader. Oh whatever. We're close. Actually, is this just the bloke we spoke to before? It might be. Um. I don't know. Get out of your way. Yeah, it's a black mark tier, of course. We've spoken to him before. Go away, you. Uh, let's get off this. I have to kill this dude. Yay! Okay, now go in defensive defender stance. Okay, so he should now. Yeah. He should always be in defender stance now. Okay, but why can't I see the black mark here? This is gonna kill me. Don't do that. Oh my god, I survived. Right. In we go. No! Hostile presence. Help me, bird! Oh yeah. Go, bird. The bird's gonna have our loads. Although I assume they balance first for the bird. I would. But then again, there's no guarantee that people have the bird. You call it's going to have the bird, but there's no guarantee. Yeah, 
Bloody leech, taking you down. You know what I else I should be doing during this episode? There's the black market. Oh, the black marketeer's been killed. No. Ah, somebody betrayed him. <laughs> You're wasting your time, darling. We opened that scrag's wrinkled throat bells ago. You cross the bloody executioners, and you get what's coming to you. Did you like our message? We wasn't sure you'd fall for it. But a little mystery goes a long way, eh? Oh, now don't be like that, darling. Me and my mates didn't have much choice. When the boss says go play with the rogues, then we've got to go play with the rogues. After all, we never asked you to come ruin our game now, did we? And don't you give me no long-winded speech about your precious code. The reformist's vision stretches far beyond what them tired of rules is good for. Once Captain Al Albuser takes command of the executioners, he'll give us back the teeth we lost when we submitted to the Admiral's leash. We'll pay the terrors of the seas once more, free to rove and plunder in a new age of pirate glory. And I'll bathe in the blood of the age come to pass. I'll kick down your shite stinking code and have all your sneaky heads on a chopping block. Like Elsie. Like hell's your will. The only sense in what's been passed here is yours. There we go, I guess the right person. Well, hello there, darling. And you're a fine looking lad. I've heard all this paddle afore. For you to pillage and plunder, is it? Aye, it all sounds grand. But I don't think. But don't. You don't think of the price. And that shite stinking code's the only thing that keeps you bloody curves from milling one another. Without it, without Limsa Lominsa to call home. It'd all be adrift in the ocean of quarrens. But if you're so keen to keep company with the dead, I'll be sodden happy to oblige. <sighs> you were prettier with your gobshite. But I can see... Oh, she's on she's Irish. You are prettier with your gobshite, but I can see I'm out of my depth here. Ah, oh, my voice has changed. Damn it, I've lost her voice. As much as I'd like to lop off your noggins, I'd have to be satisfied with dragging a tear out into the wilds and keep you out of the way, haven't I? I would have then. <laughs> Ain't it obvious? You stubborn scrags in looking to swipe a new toy, and my job was to stall you. And the captain of mine, with, with him right now, he's set to show the rest of the executioners what he's got the stones to sit through the leader's chair. What? And what better way to do it than executing the bitch what snapped our chains on our crew? He's targeting the, he's targeting the Admiral herself! You're planning to blow up the command room, ain't you? Aye, you have my permission to panic, of course. I've, I've lost the voice again. And you'd rather steer clear of the city? I'll be glad to keep you company right here, sweetheart. Should we kill her then? No, she's just, just apparently not worth killing or something. Let's go save the day. When I can find the day to save. What? Oh, there we go. Oh, she's our prisoner, I see. Right, so, because uh, of my stupid voice, uh, the executioners are putting a bomb in the Admiral's office and we have to go save her. We've got this mad mortar at our mercy, but what seems to be. A, but she seems to be enjoying herself. I'd better drag her out of the guild and see what information she'll spill. I'll need you back at Limsa as well, but your business is the foremost, foremast first. You should find Captain Milala at her post there. Forget about the sudden challenge and tell her everything we know. Unless my judgment's well off kilter, she'll do what needs to be done. <laughs> She's got a personality, so why she doesn't she have a voice? Right, so let's teleport back to Limsa Lominsa and tell. Tell uh, Mililala everything that's going past. We're going to join together, see? Because uh, it's too big for either one of us to do alone. It's more important than a stupid challenge.
black sarcophagus. Right. Just gotta wait for this to load. There's not much I can do about that. Could edit it out, so there's quite a lot I can do about that. But do I want to? No, because that's lots of effort, extra effort. So I'm not going to. As you would have guessed already, because if you're watching this, you'll know that I'm speaking on this and I've not cut it out. It's a bit strange that I could have implied otherwise. I've not seen my guild members recently. I don't know if they still exist. If I leave the guild, though, I'm sure I'll be put immediately into another one. Might be that I just wait until I'm at a higher level. I just want the leveling bonuses, to be honest. So where's Mililala? She's in the four master. I should have checked where the four master is. Uh, I have no idea where the four master is. Summerford Farms. Right, should check out, shouldn't I? Probably quite close, but I should have checked. So yeah, she's the leader of the Yellow Jackets, who who, uh, who wants us rogues to not exist anymore. Um, but yes, this is too important for a silly quarrel about guilds. Somebody's going to explode the leader of Limsel and Mensa. We've got to stop him. <laughs> it's just loading speed. What am I supposed to do? Uh, wait, I guess, or, you know, as previously discussed, we can edit it out if I really wanted to. And I guess it wouldn't be too much effort, but it's just... It's annoying to do so. Anyway, let's get on our mount. Uh, why can't I get on my mount? Oh, I can. I just can't roulette it. Yeah, so it might have been quicker just to leave via another way. You know what? One of my sightseeing requests is to look at the uh, thing, but look at the red boats. And I always assumed that you did it from the inside of the city. But I kind of forgot that you can see from the outside. Hmm. It's kind of nice to see how big the city is on the outside. Loading screens though, I'm not keen on loading screens. Assume we need to have those for the PlayStation. I mean, I'm sure there's subtle loading screens in all these games, but there's not usually literal barriers between places. Unless it's an instance. But yeah, red boats. Don't die, don't die, don't die! Cool. Didn't die. Drop distance is nice. There's Megalo Crab! Megalo Crab! Calabas. Uh, yeah, so I was trying to reference Mighty Boosh, uh, the radio show. There's a Mighty Crab called Calabas. There's Malala. Oh, you're one of Jack's rogues. You've come to steal the sorrows, have you? Well, you shan't have them. As you can see, they're safely clasped upon my very own... Hmm, you're not here for the earrings. She's wearing the earrings? The Admiral, you say? Are you sure these fiends are in possession of the sarcophagus? I must deploy more sentries at once. Do not think this voids our challenge, rogue. You... And you can relay as much as your impudent guildmaster. As, oh no, sorry. You can relay as much to your impudent guildmaster. I suppose you can thank him for the warning as well. It's more important than the challenge, you silly. Lalafell person. Now I've got to go back. God damn it.
Did I go to the right place? Far oh, bollocks, John! Loading screens! Sorry, I did that really quickly and didn't think. Oh, that's... I... Terribly. So I'm really close as well. I could have just walked it. So I'm really annoyed. It's just like four loading screens in a row. More than that. Ah. Oh. I get the sort of realism of going all the way to one place to have a conversation, but... <coughs> really? Really have to force on us like four loading screens in a row? It's a lot. And I have to talk for all of these... Well, I don't have to, I guess. Yeah. I could edit them out, is what I say during every single one, but... It's worse, because I know I'm not in the right place, and it's cost me money. God damn it. I don't know why I get so long, it takes so long to load. Yeah, sorry, I'm in completely the wrong place. Try that again, shall we? Right. Lower docks. And then we have to use one of the mini crystals to teleport to the fish place. So much travelling about! Glad we, I gave myself an hour for this road quest. And I did say the next episode would be Hawk Manor, but... I don't know if there's a bunch of rogue stuff and then the ninja stuff comes in. I, I've only done this process once, turning uh, from a family turd to a black mage. And thematically, I was never sure what the point of switching between the two would have been. But, um. It does seem like the rogue and the, um, the ninja have slightly different kind of powers. I don't know, I'm curious. But I think I need to be high level to sort of see. But uh, I look forward to it. Uh, I guess there might be like a rogue skills or something instead then. Well, they wouldn't have existed at first. Oops. So I'm playing around with stuff on my desk I, because I'm bloody bored to tears with all of these loading things. Yes, as you might have guessed, I've not done any more fishing. Last loading screen. Oh, there we go. Look, hopefully, because a bomb takes place in this city, I don't have to go too far now. Should find the rogue's den as well. Oh no, sorry, another loading screen. Ha! <sighs> Calabas, the crab. Oh look, there's Carl Reese. I can't control anything, and uh, I'm worried. Oh, there we go. So the jackets are on the move. But anyway, I've been listening to the adult pirate, adult pirate cackle since I got back to the sisters, and she's given us not what we all didn't already know. And we know more than enough. I say we rally the grogs and go after the, the mine. Before it blows up in our not mons. You'll need the edge you can get for what's to come. So let's introduce you to a stronger venom. This one's called Kiss of the Viper. It don't work when mix well with the wasp venom, so don't forget to wash your blades and recoat them when you want to switch poisons. I know I know what you're thinking. Why not just stick the venom viper? Why not just stick with the venom viper all the time? Well both types have their unique applications. Keep time and practice, I'm sure I'll try and last like yourself and figure out which kiss will work for the best for each situation. Hey. Quest complete. But obviously it's not the end of the quest line. Kiss of the Viper. Right. So this is Kiss of the Wasp, but what does it do? Increase physical damage by 5%. What does... Where is it? Uh, is it? It might have automatically put it in my bar. No, it didn't. Um, looking, look, she's still a rogue. Hmm. 
No, it's got to be on the rogue. Kiss of the Viper, it's right there. Okay. Uh, uh, he says... Uh, what's the difference? Uh, physical damage dealt by 5%. Physical damage dealt by 10%. Uh, kind of looks like I should only be using the Kiss of the Viper. Yeah, to the point that I might just throw away and kiss of the wasp. Yeah, because he literally said... I'll keep it there for the time being, but now I've got plus 10% damage. Alright, this is cloying victory. And I get a new some steel knives out of this. Toadkin jacket, that'd be nice. Armlets, some legs. My legs are relatively new though, aren't they? I definitely want the armlets. The jacket even. If the leader of the reformists, this Captain Aishabir is planning on milling the Admiral with a bang, then my guess is he'll be aiming to demolish the entire command room. Command room? You know the Mizamast side. The tower what holds the giant wench and the bulwark hall, the Admiral's bridge and her command room are right on top of it. Then you've got a district what surrounds the Mizamast. That's the busy beaten art of the city. Even with the threat of an attack, you can't just seal it up in a blink of an eye and call the whole thing Bob. Try it to explain the danger to the cults what live and work there, and you'll you to have a frightened, stampeding mob in your fumbles. Nay, lass, our only option is to have the eyes snitch, uh, snitch, snilchin, snilchin. Every approach to the tower, I'll put wit out as many coves as I can and spread them throughout the streets. Your job will be to cover the out castle. Wait and see, Neme. We'll get this Arsha beer and his little bomb too. Right, I gotta keep a watch of my position from the aft castle. But, and only an idiot would stand where a bomb was going to be. It's more like the daft castle, if you, if you un get my meaning. Hmm. Teleport to the aft castle. And the daft castle. Uh, yeah, John. Not literally called the Daft Castle, you idiot. <sighs> I didn't make myself a cup of tea between episodes. It's taken me 28 minutes to realise that. I just started again. I'm really thirsty, it's annoying. And you know what? I had four loading screens of which to walk away and make one. I'm on a loading screen right now. I've had so much chances, so many chances, so much chance for so many chances. That's how those sentences, sentences, sentences are supposed to work. I still have time. I still have time to walk away and make the beginnings of a cup of tea. Let's say, although no, it takes a few minutes to boil the kettle. I still have time. I could be walking away. I'm just going from one part of the home city to another. It should, should not take this long. Is our destination. Let's survey the scene. While I'm above 34, I will be synced. I've got a companion, and I can't enter with the companion. Right, I've had to withdraw Balthazar. For some reason. Because you can't enter an instance with a companion. So there, that's the answer to that. Instance, I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to queue up for that place. God, all these things I'm forgetting. I'll do it after this. After this loading screen. Ooh, happened at night. Is it her? 
Is it that guy? What about a creepy little gnome? I think it's a creepy little gnome. Let's go kill the gnome. Bumpkin. I'm not changing my mask. I like the mask. Yeah, that person. Look at the only an evil person would be so small. He's secret evil. No, he's not. <laughs> Where's the evil people? Maybe it's just another distraction. We just sort of took our word for it that that's what was going to happen. Oh, the fox picked a grand night of rolling thick. This will make things interesting. Oh, it's the yellow jackets. Our presence on the street is far too far too thin. Where are the reinforcements I ordered? My apologies, Captain. There just aren't any more soldiers to spare. The bulk of our forces have already been assigned to guard not only the Admiral, but a number of high ranking personnel as well. Unacceptable! What could Commodore Rayner be thinking? There are dangerous criminals stalking the city as we speak. Call in the squads from the outposts if you must, but I want to see our security tightened and the populace properly protected. But Captain, we can't be certain that the pirates' plan hasn't changed. If we consider the possibility they switched to a target outside the walls, it could be folly to weaken those defences. Hmm, you've made your point, Sergeant. Return to your post. Don't mess with the yellow jackets. Once all is lost, it's far too late to question what one should have done. Why are you wearing the rearings? <laughs> I love the important scenes being done with the Lalafell. You seem troubled, sir. Perhaps I can be of assistance. No! Ah! She gets a gun. What? Oh, yeah, because machinists exist. I've been dying to meet you, lass. Eyes. Keen to set eyes on the bold yellow belly. What cost us crew a fortune in olden coin? You! You're an executioner! One of Aishpur's men! You've strayed too far into a world you don't understand, lass. Your eyes is fixed on the light of justice, leaving you blind to a chasm opening at your feet. Look how cocky he looks. <gasps> no! No! She'll be fine, she's just injured. At least they say you died with your boots on. The yellow belly won't be bothering us no more, Captain. As for the mine, the lads will have it primed in front of the wench by the time you get here. Good. Not long now, before we drag that bitch admiral, her pretty tower, and all her simpering curves down to the bottom of the sea. Then I'll raise our flag on the ruins of the mizzen mast and lead our brethren in their return to the old ways of blood and plunder. Is that Jack? In disguise. He's got the same face as Jack. I didn't think she'd die. <gasps> She's not dead. Go drunken person. Should not have had that last bottle. <coughs> bottle. Otherwise, he's gonna. He's <coughs> kill me. I like that he was in the previous scenes. Uh, what's that then? She's still moving. She's not dead. She has stolen the earrings. Yay! Not after the command room. They they mean to bring down the entire tower. If the mizzenmast falls. 
The bridge will follow. Half the city will... Please, you must help me. The danger's far greater. But bloody hell, it's a lie. Oh, no, 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 I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. Oh, that Emperor's citizen. Please, you must send word. No, Milalala. At least she's not dead. Someone must be told. No. Yay. You. How, how did you? Your valiant and forefight weapon. You could hear that single pistol shot from mom's way. You would hard to guess what happened. I poked the yellow jackets on the way over. Healer will be along shortly. But hey, that means we've one last thing to do. We've never been allies, but I, I beg of you. <laughs> so dramatic. You must stop them. Save the city. Nah, that's good. <laughs> no, he doesn't say that. Alas, you know you no need to ask. Taking down the mad corpse and biting back what was bitten is our job. Oh, we're going to learn to get along. I mean, if she doesn't die, I'm pretty sure she's not going to die. My clothes look silly. Damn trousers. You're all set then. Ready, Jack. Always. No, I'm, I'm still a cat. Then let's go claw the sarcophagus and fill out a, 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 a icy beer. Icy beer? That sounds like a lovely beverage. But he's going to get a new coffin. Or sarcophagus, I guess. And have we got time? Oh no, we're in, in a, we're in an instance, aren't we? Hey, exciting. Yeah, we're in duty. We've got 20 minutes to do so. Let's take everyone down, save the world. I do quite a lot of damage. Out. Yes, okay, they they do some scary. Let's check out the executioners. Oh, I found it. It's there. Move that off. Okay, I've got to the hill. Who's left? Oh, lots of people. The whole bloody crew is here. That's good, because Jack hates to track down stragglers. Probably a bit too uh, fighty for stage right now.
Right, I'm going to have to be a bit more sensible about this. And not dive into uh, trouble head on. Like some damned fool. Because that was stupid of me. Now I've got another loading screen to contend with. And no tea to drink during. I am genuinely tempted to walk off. Oh, I've only got 20 minutes of the episode left. By the time it's done, I'll, you know, by the time it's cool enough to drink, I'll be off out doing shopping. Um, we should be able to skip all the talking, though. At least I only failed duty. Right. Let's try this again, shall we? <sighs> Make sure I don't die. Food. Eat food. Ah, oh, another loading screen there. Oh. Is it time? No, it's not time. That noise was lies. Did I skip all the cutscenes? Alright, I'm well fed. Nope, just in there. Time we don't need to be captain very close. So nice job. So we don't want Jan to die either. So. There is four of us. Should be fun right now to get in front of the work. Oh, as well. This is the one I want to attack, though, by myself. Right, I'm getting healed now, so that's nice. I don't know why they were picking on me. I'm not the strongest person here. Oh, fuck! Sorry for swearing. Right, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. Damn it. Well, I'm gonna start. I'm still over here. I'm very close to my kettle. But. It's more efficient. I don't know why. Like, occasionally I just forget how close I am to the kettle. All that whining and complaining. And I was literally, what, five metres away from the kettle? I don't, I don't know why my voice gone loud. To the point that I've had to get the milk out of the fridge. No, 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 no. Let's go in. I'm going to have to be very timid about this because sometimes they just decide to stop healing me. I'm just going to move out the fridge. Ready for the girl. If I can time this right, I'll have lovely tea for the end of the episode. I'll have to skip the cutscene as well, of course. Oh, no, don't get fooled by that sound. Down. Right. Still a little bit of time. Right, kettle is boiled. Let's put the cold water in. Damn, damn, damn. Duty has been commenced and I'm not standing there. Right, jump back, John. Tea is brewing as we speak. Again, maybe 
Maybe just fight the executioner right there that's coming for me rather than all of them. Right, I'm back, don't I? Right. And this time... If I start taking a lot of damage, I'm going to get the hell out of here. I know I'm taking quite a lot. So maybe I just kind of hang back for a second and not immediately die. Make sure everyone's got... Some of them just immediately go for me. So what I do... One of them's gone for me, right? So I fight that one. So I think the thing was I was attacking someone and someone attacked me at the same time. Now I might be a bit too far away to be healed. Right, so... Attack somebody who's almost dead. Do this clever way. I don't need to jump in. I don't need to. Um, I just need someone to hear me. That'd be nice. I think I can probably hear you. So yeah, one, I, I think the issue is I always have two people on me at once. But uh, yeah, doing better now. Happy. Let's keep going. Oh, this is a whole bloody crew. Deck and... So yeah, I'm just gonna... Do, 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 hang back a bit. Because one of them's gonna automatically attack me, I reckon. Only three minutes until the real show begins. It says 26 minutes. Oh, that's bad wind. I'm oh, not the yellow jackets fighting people indoors. Um, oh, getting a bit of a slowdown. Why am I getting slow down? This is highly interesting. I've got to destroy detonators. Do I have to kill the people first? Because that looks like a detonator to me. To me. I'm going to kill these dudes first. They said it does say that we'll keep these codes busy, so I think that's a kind of good thing. Right, got it. Right, very interesting this, isn't it? 90 seconds, oh bloody hell! Oh, I might have failed this again. Right, there's one of three. Hmm, 
I did. Oh I dear, I dear. I think I might have lost this. 60 seconds. Alright, found another one. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Let's make my. Well, it was my fault because I didn't run to get the detonate. It was immediately when they said there were three minutes. I tried to be sneaky. It didn't work. I. No, we're going to have to do the entire thing from the start. That is very annoying. But whatever. Chill. It's supposed to be difficult, right? It's an important quest line. <sighs> anyway, if the video goes 10 minutes over, whatever. Then I have more time to drink my tea. As it is definitely, definitely too hot right now. Ignore that sound. That sound is a lie. Okay. I hate repeating stuff, I really do. And I said I'd be less grumpy. I did definitely say that. Who's attacking me? One of those bastards will automatically attack me, regardless. That one there, in fact. And then, in fact, I should just only be looking at that. I don't know why I was protecting that house before. slow down. Still have no idea what's doing that. Right, and I shouldn't be joining in this way. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to know this bit in advance, but or maybe I'm just dumb. Well, oh, it's supposed to be exciting. I'm just whining because I've died a couple of times and I've had a lot of loading to this. One down. Let's do the ones we know. Oh, 
The worst thing is I didn't let it explode. I didn't get to see the bad ending, I just died. Down. 90 seconds to find the final one. And it's not here. Bollocks. Right, I know where it is, I think. But I've got 90 seconds to find it. Thinking across here, up here. Sixty seconds. They're done. I just beat them. They're doing this now. Right. Come back and help. Now they get our full attention. I think I can move. What the hell what sort of move is that? Gotta kill these executions. Executioner. I uh, can't exact look quite hard as well. Use everything we've got. Well, I'm going to go into the governor's name. A little bit smelly. Right. Probably heard that noise, ignore that I was outside. Just saying that, the only other noise is clash, clash, clash. But that's the sound of me winning. It wasn't the part of my plan. I could have been king among pirates. But you weren't, because I killed your face. Yeah, he heard me. We should get medals for this. The yellow jackets. I love the way that LFL walk, I really do. Status report. The mine has been disabled and the engineer should soon have it safely removed. Our soldiers sustained some injuries in battle with the reformists, but none were fatal. Also, the Admiral sends us sincerest gratitude. Hmm. Look, there she is. That's Captain Malala, the hero of Limsala Minsa. Are you recovered from your wound, Captain? That one's creepy. We've heard that you've very nearly lost your lives. Stopping the hordes of pirates and blowing up mizzen mass. These, all these people are enamoured. Free cheers for the yellow jackets. Our city would be lost without you. 
But wait, that's not how it... Sergeant, what are the rogues? Did they survive the battle? I don't really know, Captain. All we found near the sarcophagus were reformists, either dead or strung from the rafters. Alive, then. It would seem they are deep. we are deeply in their debt. Ha! Our uh, Captain, might I have the silver sorrows from you now? We've been ordered to hand them over to the Commodore, along with the black sarcophagus. Why, of course, they're right... Hearings? I could have sworn I still... <gasps> he wouldn't have. He stole them from me while I lay dying. That... that cad! I knew he was not to be trusted. Keep an eye on them. Indeed, I should have known. Oh, but she's secretly happy. But not Rogue Quest yet. Curious. Are you sure about this, Jack? We should have cloyed the sarcophagus as well. He's wearing the earrings. Hey, I think she's earned it, don't you? If it bothers you that much, think of it as his trade. <laughs> If you ask me, they look a bit daft. Well, I didn't ask you. So the earrings ended up with the mine, and we got the diamond earrings, which means victory belongs to the rogues guild. Do you think Malala will leave it at that then? I get the feeling we ain't done with her yet. I'd say we're done with our challenge, but you never know what our pass when our pass will cross again. We'll just have to see what Limps's underbelly spits up next. Aye, this city ain't ever quiet for long. Well, it's been a pleasure working with you, Nemi. Even if I if I ever need a trusty pair of stabbers by my side, I know who to ask. <coughs> well, I'm off as well then. Bloody starving I am. Don't forget to, to yuffle a bite when you can, eh, hey, Nemi? We best back to the sisters, too. A father shrew decides she'd rather hear us cry cockles. What? Better no work, Nemi. Be seeing you soon. I see what he did there. That was very clever. He might secretly be a ninja. Actually, I have no idea how to find ninja missions, but we are on an hour. So I might have to let you go. We've got to hand in the quest first, anyway. So it might just be another quest. But uh, if there is, I'm, I don't have time to do it this episode. So I guess Hawkwind Banner might be delayed a bit. Um, but yes, let's hand in the quest first. Uh, the Fisherman's Guild. Princess and the Fish. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Quest, obviously. So um, we get some trousers. Is it trousers? I don't want. No, it's the top. But I would like the trousers. I think the trousers look silly. But the trousers are recent, so it'd be foolish to replace them. Or would it? I think they're all about the same. Oh, there, Nemi. It'd be nice to finally have a bit of rest day. The job never ends, and even Dimmer Damber, like myself, needs to breathe in every now and then. And your adventuring mates must be wondering where you got to. If that was a proper long assignment, 
but I'm glad you decided to see it through. You've proven to be a stalwart protector of the code, and even if they ain't truly your world, when you're back into the linemans, you'll find yourself your own code to uphold. And when you do, you have the skills you learned in the shadows to help you defend it. Yeah, I'm, I'm still cat there. Well, there's more than enough petal paddle out of me. Your travels might take you wide and wide, Nemi, but you're always welcome here, the sisters. Uh, I'm gonna take the turn skin jacket, I think. Oh, hang on, five five. Five five. Oh, they're about the same. But I'm taking the jacket, because the jacket's hard to get. <laughs> it's creepy. Right. This one time at level 30. Pardon? Um, armory chest. He apparently does not want to give me an extra quest. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, I guess that means I can let you go while I do some research. But. Toad skin jacket. There we go. That looks cool. I think. Um, let's keep that. Uh, peasants by day, ninjas by night. Pugilist level 15. Oh, god damn. God damn, I did not realise I needed pugilist level 15. Right. Well, we're going to have a fun few episodes getting the pugilism up. Uh, in fact, I might do that next episode. But, um, not now. Because I've been John Proxy on the channel. John of the West. I've been having... Well, this has been my realm... Reborn of Redemption. And I'll see you guys next time.